University students are getting ready to return to class next week. But first, they're moving into their dorms today. News 6's Lauren Korn was on campus. She spoke to students and parents about their decision to return to class in person. It's the first day of check-in for the incoming freshman class at Stetson University. It's been very smooth. Everybody's been very helpful. Music welcomed the caravan of cars as they waited in line for temperature checks. You're good. Confirmation they've tested negative for COVID-19. Go where they were. And a reminder to always wear face masks. There is concerns, but all we can do is just stay safe, and they're doing it here. The Rice family drove from New York and say the university has reassured them with its safety protocols and giving each student personal protection equipment along with their campus t-shirts. I think it's worth it to be here. I'd rather be here than at home on my computer. The university tells News 6 3,500 students are enrolled for the fall. 60% of those students are learning on campus and are required to check in on a phone app daily to show they're symptom free. This is my year to go to college, so why wait? Because of, uh, because of a pandemic. The demand for coming back to campus and having a real college residential experience has been really impressive. Officials say they've changed the rules for housing. Instead of having 2,000 spaces, they have just over 1,200 students in dorms and 300 students in hotels, only allowing one person per room. If we need to isolate a student because they're displaying symptoms, then we can do that isolation in their room. We can bring them food. We can keep them safe. Hello. There is an energy that I think a lot of people have really missed that we're glad to have back. In Deland, Lauren Corn, getting results, News 6.